We ready to go? All right, I'm gonna open it up here. Just Janet, as you walk off the course, just overall thoughts. Uh, it's still a good day. I, I gave it all I have, and unfortunately, it didn't hit a good tee shot on the last hole, but it could have happened any other hole. So I think overall, I gave myself a good chances, and it's still a really good Sunday that I have a lot to take away from. Absolutely, Jeff. Jenny, you, you hit so many good shots coming in on that back nine and had so many birdie looks. How did you keep yourself in it as each one of these grazed the hole and just stayed out? Well, I I definitely f feel really good with my swing today, um, way better than yesterday. So, like yesterday I had terrible ball striking, so that kind of caused the best score. So I am just keep telling myself that, you know, might as well keep going. and. It's my first time paired with Rose, and she obviously did a really good job too. So, I mean, uh, I really had a good time with her, and it's it's nice to see her playing well. So, kind of, kind of push myself a little bit as well. So, like, yeah, I gave myself a lot of good chance, and these greens aren't easy. All the putts breaks a lot, so unfortunately, I didn't make them. And and how good did things feel on that front nine as you built momentum? Um. Yeah, I I didn't expect that. I make so many long putts, like first, like the first three birdies. I feel like any of them it's longer than all the putts I made yesterday. So, so that was definitely a good start. Like I said, I I came from behind, like quite far behind. So, I do hope myself to have a chance, but that's not something is necessarily going to happen. So I think. Having that kind of start, that kind of front nine at a major Sunday, I think it's still a big confidence boost to myself. All right, one from Sarah. How proud are you of your ability to bounce back from yesterday's round, and how much positive will you carry with you as you look ahead to Pebble? Um, I mean, likely I'll be finishing two weeks of top three, so... Overall, it's it's good result, and I think, like I said, I've been stepping down and doing some, you know, changes of myself, my swing, my thoughts. So it's still great to see it works out, and and I mean, U.S. Open, it's in another week, so that's another opportunity, and I think I'm in good shape going into it. All right, one from Gabby. You were definitely had some raw motion kind of coming off the 18th green. Could you just talk about what was going through your mind at that moment? I mean, I had so many chances, and but the last hole that tee shot was just, you know, water is the last place you want to go to. Um, so, oh, she made it. Yeah. <laughs> What's your reaction to? Congrats. <laughs> um, yeah, hitting into the water is not ideal, obviously. So it sucks, but it can it can happen. Like I said, it can I can bogey any other holes. I've been doing great, so yeah. And then just to get your thoughts, kind of on your friend, Ronnie, and this this seems like it's been a long time coming for her, and you you kind of predicted it the other day. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's amazing. She's young and she's so talented. She's Definitely, like, definitely really good at dealing with pressures. So it's it's great to see that. All right, and just one more here to wrap it up. Thanks, Janet. Um, earlier you talked about a lot of good looks on the back nine. They weren't falling. Were, was it harder to putt after the delay and after the rain that fell? Was it harder uh, to read correctly or, or to putt there? Uh, I guess a little bit. Um, I was in a pretty good momentum, and then, you know, rain delay made me sit down and, you know, have maybe have a ch have some time to get a little nervous. And but I think I did pretty good after I came back out. It just um, I hit like all the parts I hit was good. It just didn't really happen. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, Janet. Thank you.